him winning that prize. And one yep. thing before I go, which might interest you to do with, we're getting a taste now for sweeter beers. Apparently, according our sweet tooth, they're saying here, sweeter wines and beers are becoming more popular as young people raised on sugary drinks enter adulthood. There's probably bound to be... A lot of concern about that. We're always talking about sugar these days, aren't we? Mm, we are. Thank you very much, Steph. See you later. There's probably bound to be a lot of concern about that. We're always talking about sugar these days, aren't mm, we? We are. Thank you very much, Steph. See you later. Coming up to 20 past six, you're watching Breakfast from BBC News. These are the main stories this morning. Uh, in the last few minutes, there have been some breaking news about uh, Royal Mail. Steph's got details, morning. Yes, morning to you both. This is about the government's uh, shares in Royal Mail, which they've now sold off. Morning, everyone. Yeah, Royal Mail is now in private hands for the first time in history. Last night, the government raised just under £600 million for selling 13% of the shares that it had in the company. The remaining 1% is to be given to Royal Mail employees. Now, this comes two years after the government first started selling off shares in the firm and was criticised at the time for selling them too cheaply. A couple of other stories for you this morning. The boss of Volkswagen in the UK has refused to say whether customers will be compensated over the emissions rigging scandal which came to light three weeks ago. 1.2 million cars were sold in the UK fitted with defeat devices which let them beat emissions tests. UK boss Paul Willis said there was also a risk that a huge recall to modify the affected vehicles might run into 2017. And a leaked Treasury report suggests that legalising cannabis could generate hundreds of millions of pounds a year in tax as well as cutting the costs for prisons and the police. The document, which was written earlier this year, was never published, and the government says there are no plans to change the law. And that's the business news for you for now. Steph, we'll see you a little bit later. Thank see you very you. much. Coming up on breakfast, it took its first flight in the 1950s. This month, the Vulcan bomber will take to the skies for the last time. 20 past eight, the boss of VW in the UK appeared before MPs yesterday to explain more about how their cars here are being affected by the emissions scandal. So what does that mean for all of us? As Steph has the latest on